I wanted Wildaria's enemy AI to be challenging and fair, but in a procedural world, that's way easier said than done. So to make fun combat, we need to start by making smarter AI. Then I want to give animals and NPCs special abilities, I want to make the player dash prettier, I want to add enemy difficulty, rework the loot system, and add controller support. Step 1. AI. Most enemy AI in game starts with one simple rule. Move toward the player. Think Pac-Man. Those colorful ghosts are set to move in your direction. But, oh no, there's a wall in your way. I'm sure you've seen low IQ enemies walking into walls in all sorts of games. So, the Pac-Man AI algorithm can look at a predefined map around them to find a path to the player around those walls. Now ghosts can hunt you down, leading to a challenging but fair gameplay. The problem I have is Wildaria is procedural, and procedural games are unpredictable. There are no predefined maps, every environment is dynamically generated. A solution I found from a bunch of research and some Sunny Valley Studio tutorials is Context. In context steering, each enemy sees the world around them in eight cardinal directions. Think of them as little rays of sunshine shooting out in each direction. These rays evaluate two things, danger and interest. Danger, like walls or obstacles that you need to avoid or the enemy needs to avoid, and interest is you, the player to hunt down. With this system, enemies can dynamically navigate around obstacles and zero in on their target, you. But charging straight at the player every single time isn't super fun or fair. So here's where it gets interesting. By tweaking those danger and interest values, we can create combat behaviors like strafing, where enemies encircle you looking for an opening, fleeing, running away when they're on low health to retreat and regroup, and then finally classic chasing, close the gap, navigating around obstacles when it's time to strike. Using these behaviors, we can weave together into a dynamic, unpredictable combat encounters that are challenging but fair. But I wanted to crank up the challenge a little bit more. <laughs> Animals and Wildaria will now use their unique pet abilities in combat, massive AoE attacks that you'll need to dodge fast, Water animals use dive, for example, which sends out waves in each direction. Ground animals, for example, they will use pound, which unleashes a shock wave that shakes the battlefield. But I didn't stop there. Enemies can now use procedural ranged and magic weapons, same as the player. These enemies aren't limited to melee anymore, and they might surprise you with elemental stabs, bows, and more. So get ready. To make combat feel even better, I have updated the dash effect to be pixelated, and I've even added a water ripple effect when you move through shallow water and little trails that'll follow the player. Step four, to make combat encounters more fair, I've added nameplate colors, color coding from white to red for super challenging. So now you know before you're going into a fight what you're up against, <laughs> how much of a challenge it's gonna be. And then the loot that actually drops from those enemies will have item rarities. Colors from white to green to blue to epic to legendary yellow. And they will be much rarer for those uh, harder to get ones, but you'll get them from, you know, fighting bosses like you do in an RPG. I've also spent hours and hours working on controller support and key rebinding for those of you that want to um, maybe pick up one of these bad boys, a Switch controller or whatever, whatever kind of controller you use. And if you want to try out the combat yourself, the Steam demo is live. You can playtest, be a playtester for Wildaria, you can join the Discord down below, uh, or you can download on Steam. I've added new forms in the game. So you can actually click this little form button and then it'll open up a web page. You fill out that form for your feedback. If you have any suggestions, they'd be great to go here. Or you can leave a bug report, which is also super helpful. And while you're on Steam, be sure to wishlist the game to get notified when it releases next year. That'd be super helpful. From smarter AI to dynamic combat, Wildaria is evolving into a world where every fight feels challenging but fair. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for new pets for me to add to the game. Your feedback is super helpful and will help shape the future of the world of Uldaria. Be sure to like, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Peace.